This is Code.org. Let's see what we're doing. The soda machine class represents a soda machine with multiple types of soda. Well, that's shockingly logical. It has instant variables, so here it is. It has instant variables of a list of soda objects, the sodas. Oh, yeah. And so soda objects, so this must be a class. Yes, it is, right here. Uh, and the price of each soda. The soda class represents a type of soda and has an instance variable of for the number of sodas available. Quantity. Okay, so the soda class has an instance variable. Number of sodas available is quantity. Write the private method get total sodas to calculate and return the total number of sodas available for the sodas array. Get okay. So in the soda machine.java class, we need to write get total sodas. Now this is gonna be private. Keep in mind what that means. That means only this method can only be run from inside this class. So private get total sodas. Uh, that sounds like a count to me, right? However many sodas there are. So I'm going to assume that would be an integer, the total number of sodas, and then get total sodas. So my method signature is this, bloop, right? A method signature, the access, the return type, the name of the method. It doesn't sound like there's any parameters. Now, how can I get the total first? Just for clarity's sake, I'm going to do int total, and I'll set it equal to zero. I'm going to use a for loop. We could use an enhanced one. Uh, I'm just going to do a traditional. Hmm, actually, I think for an array it's this and a, a string is the other. Uh, I plus plus, so we want to iterate up one each time. All right, and then I want to go ahead and get the total. So total is going to be plus equal. It's going to be equal to whatever it used to be equal to. And then I'm going to say the sodas i so whatever index i'm at now however i need to get the quantity right so each soda object apparently uh private method this sodas array total number of sodas available private method to get the total number of sodas in the machine the soda object that are sold in the the soda class represents a type of soda and has an instant variable for the number of sodas available so soda class quantity right like we said well, how do I get the quantity? That's what I'm going to need. Oh, look, they have a get quantity method. So for each, at each index, right, the soda, the object at each index of my array, I want to get the quantity of, boom. And then I'm going to add it to my total. And then finally, I need to return that total. So this is just counting how many sodas in total are in the machine. Cool, cool, cool. And now we're going to do get total cost to calculate and return the total cost. Now, it looks like the price is a double. So this method must be returning a double. Uh, it doesn't say it needs to be private, so I'm going to do public uh, double. Bam. And now at this point, how am I going to get the cost? Well, I need the total number of sodas, right, times the price. That's how I'd get the total cost. So I want this to be really easy to read. So I'm going to do int soda count with my variable, and I'll say get total sodas right and then i'm going to do double uh cost is going to be equal to price times soda count and now i'm going to do what i'm going to return it return the cost all right and so what this allows us to do is this method is allowed to call our private method get total sodas because it's inside of our soda class then I use the cost to get the price. Now call get total cost and print the result. Let me head over to console. Oh yeah, they want it right here. Okay, so to print system dot out dot print ln. And then do we have? Yep, we've instantiated it right here my soda. So I'm going to do my soda dot get total cost. Boop 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 boop. Let's see if I mess this up. Twenty one. Cool. And I mean I could fancify this, right? Total cost of the sodas or something. I don't know. Boom, boom, boom. Ta-da! And now, students, keep in mind, you don't need these variables. I like having them. I think it makes code more readable. But hey, Mr. Kaiser, couldn't have you just done like this times price and returned it directly? Yeah, yeah, you definitely could. Couldn't have you done a different type of loop before each loop? Yeah, definitely you can. However, there's more than one way to be correct. So, cool. Onward.